The ASA Carcass Merit Program began in 1996 when the first cow was bred at the Sheik's Ranch in Kabul, Missouri. The goal of the program was to conduct beef cattle research to promote Simital crossbred cattle for calving ease, growth, and carcass merit. ASA began collecting carcass data in 1999. Since then, the program spans 16 states and has grown to over 35,000 matings, nearly 500 sires, 39 herds, 43 feed yards, and 16 packing plants. The program has also expanded to include universities and results have been used by producers, academia, and industry. The program's success has been dependent upon the partnership between Montana State University researchers and their calving management course, researchers at the University of Illinois, as well as our relationships with Kansas State University and the University of Missouri. Most importantly, we applaud the outstanding producers who maintain the cattle herds and keep accurate records. To begin these recognitions, MSU and the American Simmental Association want you to meet the people who have contributed more than 5,000 carcass records to several breed association databases. Our first stop is Rosedale, Virginia. Van Stewart loved the cattle business and felt a deep commitment to continue his family's operation. Stewart land and cattle consist of 20,000 acres and about 1,500 head of crossbred cows. With Zan's passing, his wife and best friend Linda now runs the operation which the Cattleman's Magazine defined as the oldest cattle ranch in the U.S. continually managed by the same family. The 237-year-old ranch is on land that was deeded in 1774 and now spreads across three Virginia counties. Their cattle philosophy is to focus on management practices and genetic improvement to produce cattle that exhibit the advantages of heterosis in both the cow herd and calf crop. Cows and heifers are synchronized and bred for young sire evaluation. Calves by natural sires have been sold direct to the same cattle feeder in the Eastern Corn Belt for several years. Stuart Land and Cattle Company has utilized a unique weaning program and is recognized for utilizing several byproduct feeds. Just 1,600 miles west of Rosedale, Virginia, you come to Baker, Montana. The Ding Wayne Ranch runs about 700 females in an intensive synchronization and AI program and farms about 500 acres of barley, grain, and grass. Dean and Karen Wang realized the demand for crossbred replacement heifers and, along with ranch manager Darren Berkeley and his family, have developed a program to produce and market high-performing bred heifers that showcase the success of heterosis. In order to improve carcass quality and complement the existing Angus genetics, the Wangs began incorporating Semitol genetics over a decade ago. Dean and Karen Wang are recognized not only for their successful cattle business and stewardship of the land, but also their contributions to their community. The Wangs actively support and dedicate their time to high school rodeo, 4-H, and FFA events. If you ever wander central Montana, sooner or later you'll arrive in the metropolis of Judith Gap. The E.L. Peterson Ranch was founded in 1950, runs about 400 cows at 400 commercial use and has about 1,000 acres of cropland. Dean and his wife Trudy have been truly dedicated to providing valuable data and research for Semital and Angus. Besides providing the cattle and labor for one of our most successful sire valuation herds, they are often commended for their commitment to being stewards of the land. They have a set standard for proper land and water management and exemplify the working relationship between livestock management and mother nature. Dean states that his goal for their operation is to be recognized for their environmental stewardship principles and their ability to live in harmony with wildlife while sharing and maintaining the natural resources to be a sustainable economic unit. The Peterson family truly knows the time and work it takes to build and operate a successful cattle business. With the help of Dr. Tom Gary's repro advice, they routinely get 70% AI pregnancies in heifers and 60% in their cows, and that's with timed matings. The Peterson family has also developed a unique relationship with Montana State University students by welcoming them to live at the ranch headquarters, have heifers, and interface with ranch management decisions. Dr. Ray and Sodegi pioneered the program that is now referred to as the calving management class within the animal science department in the College of Agriculture at Montana State University. 
This unique course gives students with all levels of experience in the cattle business a chance to spend a week in the classroom, followed by several days on the Peterson and Bear ranches calving out heifers. Whether they are studying pre-veterinary science, agriculture business, or going back to their home ranches, these young adults have to learn quickly, and tests are not taken with pencil and paper, but rather in real-life calving scenarios. The students are assigned to calving teams of four to six people who live on the ranch and are responsible for all aspects of calving out a group of heifers, as well as helping with chores, feeding, and daily tasks on these working ranches. In order to gain an accurate perception of a cattle producer's calving season, students stay for three to five days on both ranches. Over 150 students have completed the class and gained invaluable experience with two of the nation's most successful cattle operations, the E.L. Peterson Ranch and our last feature tonight, the Bear Ranch. Located between Two Dot and Martinsdale, Montana, lies 60,000 acres, which everyone in this part of the world knows as the Bear Ranch. Established in 1913 when Charles M. Bear moved his sheep to this beautiful stretch of land along the Muscleshell River, the ranch is now managed as the Bear Ranch Foundation. Created for the primary purpose of promoting education and research opportunities for Montana's educational institutions and government agencies. The foundation promotes student involvement and research studies on environmental science, forest ecology, wildlife and range issues, as well as animal science and grazing issues. The Bear Ranch Foundation runs over 850 head of cows, over 2,000 head of sheep, and farms 1,500 acres of hay. They maintain state-of-the-art facilities and stress the importance of safe animal handling and low-stress, low-injury ranching. The Bear Ranch Foundation has provided the site for countless hours of valuable research, not only for cattle producers, but all of agriculture. In conclusion, we applaud all of the cattle producers who have contributed to Simital's success, and we especially thank Stuart Landon Cattle, the Wang Ranch, the E.L. Peterson Ranch, and the Bear Ranch Foundation for their remarkable presence in the beef industry. <laughs>